And we're back. I am joined now live by one of the Republican Party's biggest stars, a fellow that I covered in Virginia for Indeed. a lot of years, Governor Bob McDonnell of Virginia. How Thanks, are you? Thanks, Mike. Glad to be with you. Thanks for being here. So let's start with the, the night that's about to happen here. Mm -hmm. uh, Paul Ryan is going to come and he's going to give this big speech. Uh, how does he sell his brand of conservatism? Uh, and, and how does that, and how does he meld that with Governor Romney so that, it, so that the, the two of them move forward and sell it together? I think it's a great team. You got the senior statesman, accomplished business leader, former governor, and Mitt Romney with a wealth of experience. And then again, you got one of the new young guns of the Republican Party, Paul Ryan, enthusiastic, but incredibly smart, serious. I think the addition of Ryan makes this an election about serious issues. The president's trying to talk about tax returns, main capital, social issues. Paul Ryan, with his budget and his Medicare reforms, clearly pushes it back to a serious issue-based election. That's good for Republicans. But it's not, they don't, they don't believe exactly the same thing. There are differences. How, does, how do they either paper over those differences or, or do some of the, the, the Medicare, for example, proposals that, that Congressman Ryan has brought, does that bring a negative that he has to deal with? No. Mitt Romney's the candidate for president. What Mitt Romney says is the position of the ticket. That's the position. And they'll work together. The differences are not that great. Uh, and I think they're a great team. And uh, they articulate things a little bit differently, maybe better to different audiences. But at the end of the day, the whole mission of this ticket, Mike, is getting the greatest country on earth out of debt, back to work, 42 months of unemployment over 8%, $16 trillion crushing national debt. Uh, these are not good records. This is not a good record for President Obama. And the more we focus on that and the solutions, the better Republicans do. You were the, the uh, chairman of the platform committee. I was. The, I, th I think I saw somewhere that, that by some measure the platform this year is more conservative than the platform that Reagan had when he first ran. How does that help you and help the party achieve a kind of you know, a, a kind of majority and a, and a win in the election when it when it's clearly taking the party to the right. Well, I'm not sure that that's accurate. Uh, it's a conservative document. The fact that we're the party of limited government and uh, less taxes and spending and that we're pro-life and pro-family, these are not new positions. Uh, there may be some differences in the language, but overall, the part of the platform is overwhelmingly about job creation, energy development, agriculture, protecting constitutional rights, government reform, all the problems that ail America, we give general solutions to. But I think uh, these demand conservative times fiscally because of the debt. And those are the things that you guys want to talk about, clearly. But but the focus on, on some of the issues in the, in the platform, the, for example, uh, women issues, uh, the, the abortion issue. You uh, had a, a, an issue in your own state when you uh, controversially pushed a, 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 a forced a ultrasound bill. Uh, that caused a big controversy. How, does the, how do those things, how do you put those things back in the bottle and talk about the economic issues? The platform stands for the general proposition that the Republican Party embraces and protects the sanctity of human life. We're the pro-life party, the other party's the pro-choice party. People can make their judgments on that, Mike. But that's not what this campaign's about. It's about jobs and spending and debt and deficit and energy and leadership. And no matter how much the president wants to talk about social issues, people are going to be voting on economic issues. I went through this for 2009, as you remember, for running for governor. My opponent talked solely about social issues. I talked about being for jobs and economic development and solving kitchen table problems, one by 18 points. So keeping discipline on the focus on the issues, which is what the platform does. Overwhelmingly, it's about these economic issues, and I think it's a good document. So, so the ticket should avoid those other issues? No. What we say is, yes, we're pro-life, we're pro-family, we believe in the Second Amendment, we believe in the rule of law, we believe in protecting constitutional liberties. No surprise. Now, here's our prescription to get us out of debt and back to work, and here's the contrast with the president, who, while he has tried hard, has miserably failed when it comes to creating jobs, reducing deficits, leading on energy, uh, and uh, getting us uh, on the right direction. The American people know that. Uh, they overwhelmingly believe we're on the wrong track. And as long as this race is focused on issues, we win. One last short question. You are the governor of Virginia. Who's going to win, Obama or Romney in Virginia? I think uh, Romney wins close, and I'll tell you why. For uh, Five months ago, Mike, we're down by eight points during the middle of that tough primary. In Today, in, in Virginia. Virginia. Now it's even. But here's the key stat. In, among independent voters, Romney's up by 10 points. That's what's going to make the difference. The undecided, the independent voter, they'll break for Romney because of jobs, because of leadership, uh, and because of spending. Would you have been a better person on the <laughs> ticket to win Virginia? That's a leading question. I of object to that. Of course it's a that. leading question. <laughs>
No, people don't vote for vice presidents. They vote for presidents. And that's why it, uh, it's not that important. But I think, I think, I think uh, Paul Ryan was a brilliant choice because, as he's going to say tonight in about an hour, we're on this ticket to win, and we're not going to avoid the tough problems. We're going to lead, propose tough solutions to solve the problems. Obama's been a bystander. He's been ducking the tough issues, and that's why the debt clock's 16 trillion, and that's why 23 million people don't have jobs. They're not going to do that. They'll take it on and get solutions. And do you think that message is, has been adequately communicated in this convention, given all of the distractions that the hurricane, some of the Ron Paul issues over the course of the first day or two. I mean, there ha this, hasn't, this hasn't been a convention that's come through entirely well, right? Yeah, we're 24 hours into it. Can't do anything about hurricanes. We're a big 10. We love having the Ron Paul folks, the Rick Santorum folks. They got some different opinions. We don't squelch those voices. They were accurately heard on the platform committee. Uh, and now we're all going to come together out of this unified, solely focused on getting Mitt Romney elected because it's about the American dream. It's about an entitlement society or an opportunity society that people can choose. One big unified party. Thanks, Governor. Okay. Appreciate it. See you, Mike. Thank you. And now let's uh, turn back to the floor and have another listen.